So, are you trying to lose weight? You feel like you're starting and stopping with no real drive or consistency. Every single time you commit to finally achieving the goal of weight loss, you stick with it for a few weeks or maybe even a few months, but then something happens. You lose focus, fall off the horse, or you might not even know what's happening. Did you follow a fancy new diet that you found on the internet? Or was it that one that was recommended by Karen who lost three stone last year eating only bananas and peanut butter? Maybe you've tried Slimming World or Weight Watchers or even my tried and true calorie counting. No matter what you've tried, nothing's stuck and you haven't lost weight. If that sounds like you, then you've come to the right video because in this video, I'm gonna analyze the root cause of this problem and what could cause this behavior. Believe me when I say I've been through this exact thing. For years, I really struggled with my weight and as much as I may not be the typical YouTube channel with a chiseled Adonis at the helm, I've lost a significant amount of weight and I'm here to help you learn from my mistakes and help you achieve your goals. When it comes to weight loss, there's definitely two sides to the coin. There's what we actually do physically to achieve success, which is lifting weights, cardio, and looking after our nutrition. But then there's also the mindset to succeed. This is all down to psychology. If you've got a decent program in front of you and there's literally millions out there, you don't need another diet or another training split. What you need is a mindset adjustment to make you succeed. You need to change your perspective and think about it in the right way and start setting things up and making plans to ensure that you are successful. One of my favorite quotes I heard from the world's fittest man, Matt Fraser, although he stole it from Jerry Rice, and that is, today I will do what others won't so that tomorrow I can do what others can't. That's always stuck with me and is one of the reasons I get myself out of bed at 4.30 a.m. every day to train. If I don't do what I need to do today, I won't be able to do what I need to do tomorrow. There will be days where you're struggling for motivation and just can't get your head in the game. Those are the days that really test you. There's an interesting book called 10-10-10, which is all around the decisions we make in and out of our working life but this can also be applied to fitness. One way to analyze the short-term and long-term consequences of our fitness decisions is to apply the rule 10-10-10. So you need to ask yourself, how will I feel about this choice that I have made in 10 minutes time, and then 10 months time, and then 10 years time? In the short term, you've decided you're not gonna hit the gym today, you're gonna to stay in bed. Sure, in the next 10 minutes, you'll feel like you've had a little more sleep. But what about in 10 months and then 10 years? If you would have made the decision to hit the gym every time you could, imagine what progress that you would have made in 10 months. And then again, in 10 years, you could be an extreme marathon runner by then, if that's what you set your mind to. This is what you need to think about on the days that you have zero discipline, zero motivation, and when you can't get out of bed. You need to keep 10, 10, 10 in your mind when you're about to drop the ball and screw over your consistency. Only then can you make long-term commitments to your health. This is how I went from being massively overweight and unhealthy to being only slightly overweight, but much more importantly, much healthier. I've never shied away from it guys. I know I still have a long way to go and the regular visitors to my channel will see the progress that I've been making but I'm also teaching and showing you guys what has worked for me and what hasn't. In the Bearded Iron community we're all in this together. On this journey we're going to have some amazing days where everything just clicks. Our workout was great, our nutrition was on point and our endorphins have kept us buzzing all day. These are the days that we push for and hope for every day. But unfortunately, not every day will be like this. And we need to ensure that we stay committed and stay consistent. Consistency creates good habits. And when those good habits start working for us, we can do all this stuff on autopilot. We can lose weight without thinking about it. And it isn't really a chore anymore. It's simple when you have the habits working for you and when you have the right mindset. You get a good relationship with food, good relationship with training, cardio, and fitness. 
This happens over time as you focus on the consistency and you focus on learning from podcasts or magazines or even better, the Bearded Iron YouTube channel. If you let the negativity win, it's never going to happen. If you're starting and stopping every few weeks, then the habits will never get formed, which means you're always completely dependent on waking up on the right side of bed and hoping it's going to be a good day. You'll never be equipped for those bad days or learn how to grab them by the scruff of the neck and turn them into another good day of progress towards your goal. Thanks for watching. I'll see you over on this next video. Bearded Iron out.